Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to add eyelashes to your Spark AR filter if you can't draw, just like me. I can't do neither. Maybe you have tried, maybe you have seen a lot of lessons where people draw the eyelashes and then add them to the filter, to the effect, but this lesson is different, really. This lesson is for all my friends, all my comrades who, just like me, can't draw. Literally, can't draw. All right, so let's get into it. I have tried to draw eyelashes by myself, but I was really bad in it. So I have found these eyelashes without a background, with transparent background. It's a PNG file. Make sure it is a PNG if you do the same thing. So they're quite natural and I wanted it to be natural. Alright, so our first step is to go inside our face assets folder and find these face mask trackers. And the reason why I need this one, because we have these red dots here. And these red dots helps us to place our eyelashes just the way it should be. All right, so now I'm copying my eyelashes and paste it like the second layer. Uh, it is quite big right now. I press Ctrl plus T and make it a little bit smaller. And right now you see that our eyelashes are curly, although our eyelid is a line. And we need to mm, transform it somehow. So to solve this problem, mm, I go to edit, transform, and find the warp tool here. And this is the really useful tool. You can use all these blue dots to transform your object. It works really good with uh, our eyelashes. Besides the blue dots, you can also click on our lashes, drag them down to our eyelid, try to place the eyelashes right on the red dots. All right, right now the eyelashes are too long for me. I want it to look more natural, so I took the eraser tool and just deleted. I even used the eraser tool on the uh, other parts of eyelashes in order to make them look more natural. But of course it's up to you, maybe you need something like a false eyelashes, I don't know. I select the 0% hardness for my eraser tool and I recommend you to use the same hardness. We've finished with the one eye so we can copy our layer and paste uh, it. And we have another layer with our eyelashes for the second eye. Now we need to place it on the other eye. And after that, click on Ctrl T and then right click, flip horizontal. All right. Now both eyelashes are on our eyelids which is great, <laughs> to make them look more natural. You can even change the opacity here, but I prefer to change the opacity inside the Spark AR if I need to. After that, go to File, Export, and ex Quick Export it as a PNG file. And of course, don't forget to hide the first layer with our tracker face. And we have done with eyelashes. Now let's create blush. To create blush, I prefer to use this face because on this face you can see where the uh, cheek ends and where the cheekbones are. So I think it's more convenient. All you need to do is to select the color you like. I take this dusty rose color. 
take a brush, really small hardness, even zero, that's good, and draw your blush. All right, after we did it on one cheek, we can simply copy it and paste it again on the other layer and do the same thing. Ctrl T, flip horizontal. All right, you can even use these lines if you are not sure where to place the second blush and if you want to place them uh, symmetrically, and I think you do. <laughs> Next step is to hide our background layer, and again, quick export it as a PNG file. You can also change the opacity of your blushes here, or you can change it inside Spark AR, it's up to you. Or you can do both, <laughs> change the opacity here and inside Spark AR. And we've done. Let's open Spark AR and see how it looks. All right, so there is very simple. Let's just add our face mesh. And another face mesh. All right, put this face mesh on our face tracker. Select the first face mesh, add a new material. Let's rename it to eyelashes and the second face mesh also let's add a new material and rename it to blush all right and all we need to do is to select our material and choose the texture new texture and select our eyelashes all right All right, good. Oh, I like this. Look at her. <laughs> okay, good. And the second face mesh. Go to our second material, texture, new texture. All right. <laughs> she looks funny, but let's change the shader type to face paint. All right, and we can adjust the opacity a little bit. All right, I love the natural look. And we can also change the brightness if you want it to be bright or dark. And I love it. And that's it. Like, it, it looks like a real makeup and it looks pretty good. And it's really easy. So that's all. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and write a comment. See you soon!